Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and working with you to make your game nights better. Today the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this rather bloated, overfilled chunk of cardboard that is pret a porte from Portal Games, a game about the fashion industry that I have heard really good things about. Now, at this point, I have not played this game before, nor have I even seen it in person. So you're going to get to experience me seeing the components in this game for the first time. Now, this features awesome art um, by, was it Quan Chai Moria, um, designed by Ignacy Trevishek, uh, one of the most thematic economic games on the market, supposedly. I'm really looking forward to trying this one, but step one is to crack open the box. So that's what we're going to do right now. Starting with cutting off the shrink. Here we have my shiny new copy of Pret a Porte, uh, picked up at local game store, the CG Realm. Uh, this is a great sounding game on a theme I admit I don't really care about. But you know what? If the design is good and the game is good, I'm all for it. So we start off Kickstarter appreciation. Um, Included in this edition of Fred Porter is a small thank you gift for the overwhelming support we received during our Kickstarter campaign. We've included 10 alternate art cards for you to use in the design deck. These cards should not be shuffled into the design deck without first removing the matching 10 cards from the base game. We hope you have many wonderful games of Fred Porter's ahead. Thank you for all your amazing fans and Kickstarter backers. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. I'm like, did I get a Kickstarter edition? But no. All right, then we have uh, the, the cover that introduces the background and the goal of the game, which, of course, is to lead your company to prosperity by showcasing the best collections during the fashion shows. Rule book. Oh, we're going to slide this over because that's a, a nice big one. I got to admit, I hate the size of rule book, but this looks nice. Um, a really great summary of all the components here. Uh, including showing, am I, do I get to see, yeah, both sides of the cards so I can see the backs, the different contract cards, uh, notes what's unlimited and what can run out. Then we've got uh, the whole setup here. This looks nice. So you got the setup here and it's numbered, so you can look over here to combine, to actually get to see what it looks like when it's all set up. Then we've got the overview of the different card types. Then you've got the player board overview. Great looking layout here. Um, it's it's odd. I can't call it single or double column because it's swapping it up, but it looks like it flows really nice. Talks about actions without pawns. We're just going to go through this pretty quick. Going through the working round. The working round is obviously the, the main chunk of the game. And then an exhibit round, which is probably when you earn all your points. Definitely very colorful and layout. Fits the theme of the game very well. Um, different awards you can win. This is still the exhibition. And upkeep phase. So full set, 19 pages of rules. So this is not going to be a light one. This is this is definitely a, a heavier Euro game. We're looking at a weight of like 3.6. So definitely a heavier game, but that is the type of game my wife and I enjoy. So now we're going to flip it. We have stickers. Not a huge fan of stickers, but I get it. Sometimes you got to give me stickers, and I'd rather have stickers than have to pay extra for like silk screening. Uh, looks like you have four different designers here, some plus minuses, and maybe a timing card. Then we've got punch boards. First off, we have tickets. These are probably your points. They look like credit cards. It's cute. Then we've got all kinds of badges and awards you can get. Then a very colorful, definitely Quan Chai Moria style here. Quan Chai is known for geometric shapes and bright colors. Uh, you definitely see some, some Quan Chai in this artwork. I uh, know this is the third edition of the game. Uh, there were previous versions released. This is the latest. Player boards here, four different player boards. Two-sided, presenting male and female on different sides, it looks like. Not even necessarily male and female, but different looks on each side, so that's always appreciated. Lots and lots of punch boards in this one. Lots of punch boards. Ooh, and nice. A tray for organizing everything. Greatly appreciated. Dig it. Uh, look, I noticed some of those symbols match what I was just looking at. That's awesome. Greatly appreciate this. Uh, these are the player pieces. They actually all look the same. So yellow seems to be a good color to stick out on my webcam. So I'm just going to hold one of these up. I'm assuming these are supposed to be th spools. 
right? Threads, spools. They're wood. They're well painted. The, the, the very light, but enough chunk to them. Okay, board. More in this insert is nice. Look at that. That's colorful. All right, let's try to show off the board. This is always difficult on a webcam. So now I do know this is a lengthwise board. Oh, it might fit. Might fit. Yeah, you get the you get the gist of it. Okay. So the board actually goes lengthwise. What you're not catching is up at the top here is a score track that looks like a measuring tape that goes around the outside edge. Um, you got areas to place the cards here. What I will do, so there you go. Here you get a shot of the entire board for Preta a porta Preta porte Preta porter however you wish to pronounce it. Uh, Single-sided. Uh, I'm not going to bother pulling these out of the bag. You can basically see them. Wooden, bright, bright colors. I'm guessing in the player colors, and then thicker versions of those. So you have small wooden discs, two of them, in the player colors, and then three larger, chunkier cylinders. We got cards. Cards are nice and thick. Let's see if I have different types here. Okay, so these are obviously some type of scoring cards, and the scoring will change depending on the number of players, as well as iconography descriptions here. Quite a few icons, but not overwhelmingly so, at least in my opinion. Uh, then we have whatever these are and a bunch of measuring tapes. So real estate agencies, fashion show, storehouse. So these are types of buildings, obviously. They have a cost on them. Um, there is some graphics. Again, very muted colors. Like you've got yellows and pinks on all of these. Each card does have its own unique artwork. And then these are all two-sided. So major retail outlets, foreign investment, great designer office. And then on the other side, we have defined design and logistics office, designer's office. So all kinds of offices and buildings. So what did we have? Okay, so I wonder if these are like starting cards. You can kind of see I'm breaking these up because I'm not sure exactly what they are. So we have pink border cards that are two-sided. Then we have pink border cards that have this on the back that are similar styles of buildings. Then we have gray bordered cards with those symbols on the back uh, with audit company, with Insta Influencer. I'm amused that Insta Influencer is a thing. Uh, with ready to wear store chain. So maybe you get a combo here. So you get like sewing factory with PR agency. Then after the ones marked with these backs, we have just a bunch more gray cards that again are with, with trend analyst, with construction company, and these are two-sided with rental office, with t four TV appearances, four ready-to-wear collection. Which ready-to-wear is what preta porta. We're going to start with separating by the backs, if there is any. Nope, these are all the same. And we got lots of fashion. It shows the different colored threads needed to make this dress. It shows the cost. It's got different symbols showing. Um, you know what? Oh, let's just hold them up. We've got various different colors, different parts of the outfit. If you look, it's different parts of the same outfit. Iconography looks really clear. Colors are nice and bright. We're going to throw those in there, though I have no idea if that's actually where they go. All right, advertisement. Yeah, advertisement. 20 years of Portal Games. They finally have released Stronghold Undead on Kickstarter. Yay. All right, uh, two more reference cards. Oh, these might be the bonus cards, so I don't want to mix these in. These are probably the 10 variant art cards. Wow, yeah, that's got to be a Kickstarter exclusive. I, I have a feeling I won't be including these in my particular version of the game. It's like silly-looking pirate guy. All right, sure. We're going to put that in its own little slot over here. Uh, more credit cards. Big credit cards. There's like big money and little money. No clue. We'll throw those in there. Oh, and then we have blue. So again, we have that, like, whatever these are, starter cards. Young talent, young designer, and so on. And then experienced people. Experienced model, superstar, and again, these are two-sided. So there we have the three different card types, which I'm going to pull these out of here and throw those in there. And these with the reference cards. And those. There you go. So that's it. That's everything you get in Pret a Pote from Portal Games. This was in here somehow. There we go. And then this on top. 
somehow. Oh, oh, I see it. There's even notches like that. There we go. Look at that. That's hold, held nice and tight, actually. Um, then cardboard on top. Now, this is going to bow out because once this is punched, it's gonna, it's all going to fit in the box. Right now, it does not, but that's fine because we're going to punch all this out before we play the game. And then it's going to fit nice on my shelf, and it feels like it's going to be nice and snug. So here you have it. Here we go. Uh, look inside the box for Pret a Porte. Uh, third edition from Ignacy Trevishek and Portal Games. Art by the fantastic Quan Chai Moria, who I've got to say did a fantastic job. This game pops. This is a bright, vibrant game. Lots of iconography that actually all looked great. I'm really looking forward to trying this. A heavier, economic Euro game all about the fashion industry. So there you have it. What you get inside the box for Pret a Porte. Now, if you want to know what I think of the game once I play it, watch my socials. Check me out Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Or head over to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, or tune in to the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, where I'll be talking about my plays of this game and potentially even doing a full detailed review at one point if we get enough plays in. Thank you very much for joining me for this unboxing. Good day and game on.